Are you headed to Sandusky, Ohio for the weekend for maybe a sporting event? Or maybe it's summertime and you're going to Cedar Point and you're looking for other things to do around town. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you all kinds of things you can do in Sandusky, Ohio. Hi guys, it's me, Patty. Thanks for coming back to my channel, Living in Cleveland, where I make videos about all things Northeast Ohio, Northwest, and even down South. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, you know the drill. Click on that subscribe, like, write me a comment. I love it. Uh, okay, Sandusky. <sighs> it's winter. It's awful. I just got back from Florida. I was in Fort Myers for a week. My stepsister got married. It was beautiful. Uh, my video last week was uh, 10 things you can do in Ohio in the winter. And that aired last Friday while I was actually in Florida. Um, thanks for watching that if you did. Um, yeah, I'm going back down to Florida in two weeks. So yeah, it's Ohio. It's the Midwest. It's winter time. It sucks. But let's talk about things you can do. And I'm going to talk about Sandusky, Ohio. And if anybody's heard of Cedar Point, it's one of the world's famous amusement parks. They're constantly rated as having one of the best, tallest, fastest, whatever roller coaster. Huge destination in the summertime. Um, and we'll definitely talk about that. But I want to talk about other things you can do in Sandusky any time of year. Um, I live pretty close to Sandusky. I am halfway between Cleveland and Sandusky. So for me, it's about a 25-minute drive from where I live. So if you're coming from Cleveland, it's going to be about 35, 40 minutes, maybe less, maybe an hour, maybe less than an hour. So Cedar Point, huge, huge, huge influence on Sandusky. They just agreed, I think it's like a hundred million dollars this past fall. They have agreed to um, give to invest in the city of Sandusky to improve the roads, to improve traffic. They're just a really great corporation and they're invested in Sandusky in that area. And I've had season passes at Cedar Point since my oldest, who's now 26, was probably five years old. Um, we don't even take our kids anymore. We go because we're so close. We'll go after dinner and just walk around. It's free parking. A season pass is only a hundred bucks. Can you believe it? I think this year I might get the, the dining pass and we'll just go for dinner. Uh, but yeah, for a hundred bucks, free parking. It's right on the water. The park, it just, you walk into this park and it's like, oh, it's summer. And you just, the people watching is great. Um, it's just, and, and, and as I'm getting older, I don't like to ride as many of the rides, but I still will. Um, so love the park. And what they just built in the last few years is the Sportsplex. And it's a Cedar Point property, right when you get out of the property, Cedar Point the Amusement Park. And they have baseball diamonds. They have this huge indoor um, volleyball, basketball. They do all kinds of tournaments. So if you are one of those people coming to Sandusky for a huge tournament, and <clears throat> I was one of those parents, uh, we traveled all over the place uh, with our daughter who played volleyball, club volleyball, so we knew all about that and we would travel to places and, you know, we have kids. So we we're always looking for things to do, family friendly, places to eat. So this video is definitely for you. So if you're in town any time of the year, obviously it's going to be packed. Just I'm sure if you're a traveling parent, like we would go to Columbus all the time and just knew we had to deal with crowds. Um, <clears throat> so restaurants right down the street is one of our favorite restaurants. It's called the Thirsty Pony and it's right when you're it's right at the entrance of Cedar Point and across the street is a um, Quaker Steak and Lube, which is like a wing spot. Um, and there's Castaway, Castaway Bay, Castaway Harbor. It's like an indoor water park and um, a hotel. So that's a great place to, to stay if you have kids and there's a water park right there. Um, Thirsty Pony also has a brand new hotel attached to it. And it's got a really cool arcade room and a really nice state-of-the-art bowling alley. Uh, Thirsty Pony, it also is in, it is, it has, it's a gambling. You could do like horses. They always have like horse races going on, but we don't gamble. We just go for the food. They have what's called Fricker's Wings, which they're, my husband loves them. They, they bread them, they dip them in batter or something like that. And then they fry them. I get the grilled ones that are amazing. 
Uh, we'll also go there on Wednesday nights. It's burger night, and we will split one burger, and it is like this big. We get the cluck cluck, which has an egg on it and bacon and cheese, and we split it in half for eight dollars. And it comes. We always get the sweet potato fries with their cinnamon, their cinnamon butter. So good. So you've got to check out Thirsty Pony. Um, if you're looking for something a little more upscale, head downtown Sandusky. Downtown Sandusky has really come so far. They've put so much money into it. And there's like hip, hip restaurants. You have Crush Wine Bar. You have OH Tacos, um, Small City Tap House, which is such a cool place. Um, they do, it's like an Asian restaurant, but it's also, they have a brewery. So if you want really amazing sushi or Asian food and a really good craft beer, I highly recommend Small City Tap House. There's Dailies, which is just pub fare, but never had a bad meal there. Just all kinds of really nice, really nice restaurants. Volstead is a really cool like speakeasy. Um, I just love it and it's right on the water and I'm gonna show a video. I just love the downtown area. And every October they host, it's called a witch's walk and I'll show a video wherever. And we went, there was probably 12 of us. We all dressed up as, it's all women. We all dressed up as witches and they do a parade. There's probably 2,500 of us all dressed up as witches. It was a, when, it's a Wednesday night, so much fun. And then you go hit the bars and you know, there's bands playing. It's just such a fun, fun night. Um, so what else is there to do in Sandusky? The water parks, especially in the winter time, like, oh, who wants to be in Ohio in the winter time? Well, when my kids were little, the best thing to do was to take them to Great Wolf Lodge, um, which is right on Route 250. Actually, the other one is too. Um, but that was the first one, Great Wolf Lodge. My kids loved it. And the big one is called Kalahari. And I think there's only two. There's one in Wisconsin and, and the one here in, in Sandusky. It's amazing. Like they have a surfing thing. The rooms are so nice. I was, uh, when I'm back in my teaching days, I was, I was at Kalahari because it's also a convention center. So if you're here for a convention, you're staying at Kalahari. Wow, lucky you. And I was at a seminar, something for teaching and we got to stay in the room. We got a room. So I had my kids come. They happened to have a day off of school, but then we had this huge blizzard. So we were stuck. We couldn't leave. <laughs> And somehow they upgraded us to like this huge suite because I had all my kids and it was so awesome to be in an indoor water park in the middle of a blizzard. And they have um, a hot tub that you go through the little door and it goes outside and we're like in the middle of this blizzard in this hot tub. It was so cool. Uh, so definitely check out the indoor water parks and you can get day passes. You don't have to stay there. Um, and always check packages and see what kind of deals they have going on. They also, because Cedar, Cedar Point is such a tourist attraction in Sandusky, there's all kinds of other things. They have like a ghost manor. It's like a year round haunted house. I've never been to it, which I don't know why, because I love haunted houses. Um, just so much to do. Like in the summertime, there's putt-putt everywhere. Oh, downtown Sandusky, there's a maritime museum. And you'll see it when we get to the video. Um, all about, because it's right on the water, you can catch the Jet Express, which is a ferry, and that will take you to Putin Bay, which is a fun thing to do in the summertime. And I have a Putin Bay video, a couple of them. Um, and there's also a merry-go-round museum. In fact, when you're driving around town, you'll see, you know, on like street poles, they'll have like flags or whatever, like this, welcome to our city. Well, their flags are of an actual horse from the merry-go-round. So definitely, you know, check out downtown. I love it. They built these beautiful townhouses and I've looked at them and my husband and I actually contemplate like, hey, maybe we could live in Zandusky, which is just a little too far. My kids are in Lakewood, which is way closer to downtown Cleveland. But Zandusky, we go all the time. Um, and if you're looking for places to stay, check out the, I would definitely check out, um, the water parks. There's hotels everywhere and even Airbnbs, and especially in the wintertime, you could probably get a really nice deal on an Airbnb, especially if you're coming in for these huge, huge sporting tournaments. So thank you for watching. You know what to do. I answer my phone. I help people every day find their dream, dream home, uh, in Sandusky, in Cleveland, 
all over the place. I do answer. My info's down there. Please do not hesitate to call me, text me, send me an email, visit my website. I'm here to help and enjoy Sandusky in January. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.